I'm holding in my hands what is possibly the most important pop culture artifact known to exist. This is the actual check that DC Comics used to pay Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster, the creators of Superman, for Superman. For the last 25 years of my life, I've been able to buy and sell vintage comic books. Action Comics, number one. Detective 27, Amazing Spider-Man, number one. When you sell comic books every day, you get used to it and it becomes kind of the norm. It's kind of uh, amazing holding this check in my hands. I think in terms of American history, the three most lopsided business deals of all time would probably be the $24 sale of Manhattan to Peter Minuet, the sale of Babe Ruth uh, for approximately $100,000, and then for the sum total of $130, the sale of Superman to DC Comics, which really created the comic book industry. One of the fascinating things about this check is that it's written out for $412. But DC Comics wasn't just paying to buy the Superman story with this check for $412. The Siegel and Schuster uh, in Cleveland were doing work on characters uh, like Slam Bradley and Spy for DC Comics. And uh, they made a great effort to let DC know about the new character that they were working on called Superman. And DC loved it. Siegel and Schuster went to work, finished that story, and ended up sending it to DC Comics. DC Comics ended up sending them a check for money that was owed in the past and buried in this check was a line item for the rights to Superman. If you look, you can see the itemization here on the left side. They paid actually only $130 for Superman. Even with inflation, that's a pretty sweet deal. And in fact, when there was a character called Captain Marvel that came around, they actually sued the Fawcett Publications uh, because they considered it a copyright infringement. And they actually used the check in the lawsuit as proof of ownership. The DC Comics uh, actually didn't know how to spell Siegel and Schuster's name. But since they wrote their names incorrectly on the front, Siegel and Schuster had to double sign the checks with their incorrect spelling and the correct spelling. It really is the, the cornerstone of the comic book market, the comic book industry. Because without this transfer of ownership with Superman, Superman would have never been published and might have gone as a forgotten piece of American history. People have been calling me asking me, what do I think this check's going to sell for? So I don't really know. I've never had anything quite like this. But come April 16th, we're going to be selling a piece of comic book history. And I have a feeling that night we're going to actually be making history.